So, you're trying to decide what you want to have for Easter. Well, you should just have me over for dinner and invite me to your house and with your whole family. And we should go collect eggs and, uh, yeah. Hey guys, I'm Matt Kai. I'm Kai and Taylor back once again taking a look at how I made this cool, uh, banner in GIMP. Um, I just want to kind of get, work you through my process, let you know how we do. Um, I kind of want to just go through, I did a couple of really cool things that I really liked with lighting in this. Uh, so I kind of wanted to really touch on the uh the bloom effects and the dodge effects that i that i kind of went through so um uh, it's a character focus character focus banner um the you know the name in the background all that kind of stuff and right now i'm just kind of trying to get the placement down and i knew that i wanted it to it to be super contrasty uh super i, I don't know uh, i wanted it to be really bright is is what i as all that i knew going into this i wanted it to be super bright so i decided to go with the white background um, and kind of take a little bit of the focus off of the character. Um, so what I did essentially here was I had super, super big, soft brush, kind of just paint in some white around the edges of our character. And, and more importantly, I duplicated the, the character. Um, I kind of blurred him a lot, blurred him a, a good bit actually. And then I set his mode to dodge. Um, which kind of gives a really cool looking glow effect, but it's way too strong if the saturation is too high So I made sure I turned the saturation down and we got a nice like color blend kind of bloom bright effect um, And right now I'm, I don't want to go too hard on any of the colors. I kind of wanted to just Keep the the sod whitish kind of you know gray bloom black color um, and then the, the, the uh, Color of the characters here of the character here. Sorry um I made the word Kai hollow just to kind of, you know, take take a little bit of focus on that word, put a little bit of emphasis on that. And I did eventually go back and fill the character back in, but I knew that I really wanted to um, keep him, like, solid instead of having him the way that he looks now, which is, um, which is like, kind of hollow and kind of messed up and stuff. I do go back uh, afterwards. As you can see, what I just did there was I just create a little bit of a gradient on the bottom of the text there and I made some nice scratches in the text while I was talking about um about the um the character there so as you see I'm going through and I'm kind of adding a little bit of an outline around the character as well because I wanted a little bit of separation between him and the background letters so I just kind of painted in a super s simple white border around him and then um kind of blurred it up not blurred it but I kind of like stretched it around moved it around um so that it looked uh so that it looked not exactly fully straight all around him it kind of you know stretches around a little bit um and the biggest thing that I want to like I said I want to focus on is definitely the the lighting and the brightness and the color so to kind of stress that super bright saturated you know really really I don't know what another word for it, other than just super bright effect that I'm trying to go for. I duplicated everything, blurred it all, and then I, I set that also to dodge, and then I just made sure the saturation wasn't too high. So that's a really big tip. If you want something to look super bright, um, mess around with the, the, the blend modes. Mess around with the dodge settings, the screen settings, the overlay settings, um, and try to get something cool going on. Now, I, I didn't wind up keeping this effect that I did, but I like the idea so I really wanted to fit this in somewhere. I spent a good amount of time trying to see what I want to do with this and, and where I want to put it and what I want to do with it. But I decided that it just wasn't the smartest thing at the way that I was trying to get it done. So I wound up scrapping the whole thing and I just went with a solid line on the sword you'll see here in a second. I thought maybe changing the mode to screen, overlay, changing the color. I almost kept that right there with the with the the tealish color. I almost kept that, but I came up with a better idea um, off of that idea, which is which is why I love this process so much because if you're not liking something, if you play around with it enough, either you'll either you'll get it to the place where you do like it or you will come up with a different idea because of it. So I think it's just super, super cool. Now we have this nice line on the sword. It kind of like makes the sword stand a bit more. Um, and I was really happy with that. I duplicated that line, blurred it and put the mode on uh, dodge once again, desaturated. So it looks really cool and 
he looks magical, you know, got rid of a, a little bit of the glow in his face because it was a little bit too much. Um, and I think from here, all that I do is really the grain. Yeah, I just wanted to have a little bit of texture to the shot. So we added a little bit of grain and I do believe I called it quits. I tried to add a little bit of a line down here to try and kind of um, make something look uh, a little, I don't know, finished at the bottom. But um, I, I wound up getting rid of that as well. I just liked it with the plain white, the solid white. Um, but yeah, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. This is, I absolutely love this uh, this banner that we've made here. You can do this with profile, picture, profile pictures, any kind of branding, any kind of anything you're doing either, like even character portraits. Um, but yeah, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. Like I said, I'll see you in the next one. Um, if you wanna see more of these, let me know down below. Uh, we'll see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.